Welcome back to the Brand Personalization Video Marketing Course. This is day 24, and now that we are into you know the final week of the course, basically I want to you know go over some of the more advanced stuff. Now you might be surprised that I didn't go into you know how to make viral videos or you know getting into the keyword research and things like that, and there are reasons behind that. You know. There are plenty of places that you can go, you know, to find how to produce or edit your videos, and I don't want to waste your time with that because depending on where your level is, either you already know how to do this or know someone that can do it for you, or you're just going to start out with, you know, recording your voice or doing Animoto or, you know, recording like a PowerPoint or something like that. Now, if you need help producing your videos, that's a completely different subject matter, and I can cover that as well. But this course is mainly designed to you know, actually market the videos instead of how to create them. Now, in today's lesson, we're going to be covering how to get your videos promoted for free. And this isn't the... You know, same thing as promoted videos on YouTube, which I can get into. Um, you know, basically this is, you know, what happens and how to get your videos ripped off by other people. And it sounds like a bad thing, but it's not. And I'll get into the whys and hows in a second. But first, let's go ahead and check out the, the course channel so that way we can get a quick update. Okay, we have 3,150 channel views, 37,296 total upload views, and I think that's kind of dropping off a little bit or slowing down just because I've been a little bit late getting my videos up, and I wish I could get everything up on time, but life happens sometimes, so... Um, 1,329 subscribers and 2,780 friends. So all in all, we're still doing pretty good and we're still on track to get the 50,000 inside of a month. But still, you know, I was wanting to go way above and beyond so we'll see how it goes we still have a week now what I was referring to as far as you know promoted videos basically there's a tactic used by um, a lot of marketers as far as you know, pulling content from other sources and then populating their own sites you know, just for the means of you know, having valuable content, you know, on their website. So, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing when someone, you know, pulls your videos. And in some ways, it's actually a good thing because basically you can get two different, you know, types of traffic out of this. And also there's two different methods behind it. Um, one is going to be, you know, people traffic and the other is going to be web traffic or, you know, web SEO. So the reason that it's actually split into two is because some of these sites that are going to pull your videos are very unethical and they rip your links from your descriptions so that way you're not getting any link juice out of it. So you can still, you know, gain some video views and you can still get people to follow back to your videos and then subscribe that way but that's a little bit more manual so if the links are ripped out of it you can still build your brand awareness a little bit but as far as you know, building up your site or the videos it's not going to you know, help out as much but at least your content is being syndicated so it's still better than nothing it's just not the preferred method and then the second way are the sites that pull your videos but leave all the links intact 
this is a dream come true, especially when they are high PR blogs or websites, because not only is this going to increase your video views and you know, possibly subscribers, but also all of the links that are in your descriptions are going to be linking back to your money sites. So, you know, since backlinks are so important, you know, whenever your video is on thousands of websites, all linking back to your sites, this is a free method to not only gain awareness of your videos and what you're trying to put out there, but also gaining tons of valuable backlinks back to your website. So, very good thing. And I'll go ahead and give you a few examples here. The easiest way that you can do it is go straight to Google. And then just paste in your course channel or your um, YouTube channel, I mean. So I have 1.7 million results. And basically, these results are going to be comprised of you know, whenever someone likes you or comments or anything like that, that's going to link back to your channel, which is a very good thing. And the more you engage with your audience, the more these links are going to build up. Also, this is going to you know, show you know, when your videos are you know, embedded into other websites. Okay, I see World News on here, which is a very good example of what I was saying when people or websites rip your um, links out of your description. So, if you would go to World News, which is WN.com, yeah, at first glance, you see a website like this that is a huge news aggregator and... You know, you think, oh, I've made it. I finally, you know, have all my content listed in, you know, a huge site and everything else. But then you start to notice some very bad trends. To make it easier, I'm just going to go straight to the home and then you can see the videos that have been taken so basically I have an entire channel on world news with all the course videos and I'm not surprised because World News picks up a lot of the stuff that I do. But if you look in the description here, there's my link, but it's no longer clickable. So if people go to you know, any of these sites and then you know view the videos, that's great because then maybe you know someone's going to click back through and you know find me on YouTube or on you know the website whatever but the fact that there are no clickable links makes it a little bit harder for people to do that and when it comes to being on the internet people want things very simple And another thing I found with this site and a few others, they do give you a clickable link. I mean, if someone you know, follows through to the video, that's going to go back to the originating video anyway. So, you know, anything that happens on these sites is still going to you know, increase your views. But even when it says, you know, video by you know, BP Video Course, 
instead of linking back to the YouTube channel, they actually created a channel, you know, on this site. So, personally, I don't like that much, you know, just because you're not able to, you know, get the full benefit. So let's go ahead and find a few, you know, sites that are doing this the right way. I probably should have clicked through to these first just to see what kind of content was on them. So usually if you scroll down, you'll end up seeing the videos that were ripped. And I've found a few of the videos in like membership sites and things like that. So, again, very bad trend, non-clickable link. And they're embedding ads on and in the site. So I'm really not sure, you know, why sites are allowed to do stuff like this because you know to me that is just outright stealing here's another example link has been made unclickable so basically sites like this are you know ripping the videos and I mean yes you can increase your views a little bit but as far as backlinks, which is one of the main things that we're trying to get with the video marketing, we're not able to you know, take full advantage. So let me try to find one of these that are doing it the right way. Well, maybe I should have tried to find some <laughs> videos that were actually doing it the right way instead of just stealing. I mean, like I said, it, at least it you know, still increases page views and things like that. But Because there's a lot of these sites that are basically just, you know, ripping everything that I'm doing. As you can tell, there's a lot of sites that, you know, basically the whole premise of the site is just to rip videos. Okay, one thing that you can do is put an operator up here. Now, whenever you put the links in, it's links colon and then the channel or whatever site. Basically, it's going to tell you about how many sites are linking back to that video or you know channel or whatever you're trying to 
and find out. So now let's see. And if I can't find one soon, I can you know, check with the main channel. It's sad that you can tell that the majority of these sites are using the same aggregator to grab the videos. And I'm pretty sure that's actually against the um, YouTube terms, terms of service. Don't quote me on that though, I'm just thinking that it is. Okay, let's go broad again. Maybe board reader has something. Nope, of course not. Well, I definitely don't want to waste your time trying to, you know, find a link. But if you have any questions about it or whatever, then I'm yeah, I can show you some. I mean, I can show you some examples of you know, where, like, some internet marketers have included my videos, you know, inside their you know, membership programs and stuff like that. Which I don't really mind, you know, as long as you know I get some traffic from it too. So, but anyway, um. What you can do is you just do youtube.com forward slash user and then your username or you can try it again without the user in there and then it's going to change up you know just a little bit just because the way that it was um, you know linked was different. So, I wish that um, YouTube would have a redirector so that way it wouldn't matter if it was set up on, you know, user or non-user. And I'm... I'm hoping that I can actually find one decent example of someone, you know, actually using some ethics and letting the links go in.
but after a while you give up on it you know, all that really matters is the fact that you know the videos are getting out there you know so basically this is other people promoting your videos for you you know so you know regardless if it's by a bot or you know some type of automated means you know at least you're getting out there in a way that you know you're not having to manually do it now will these sites get a lot of traffic probably not but there are some other sites like you know if we're you know, pick, picked up by like Fox News and things like that those are you know definite places that are going to you know add some traffic and you know we can get a lot out of that you know but no matter what that's still going to be you know plenty of you know links coming back to the video itself even if it's not linking back to the website so whenever we have links coming you know to the channel or you know to the video that's going to help the SEO for the video or the channel itself to help it rank even more and here in a few days we're going to be covering you know ranking your videos but there's a few other things that I want to get out of the way first so um, you know till then we are going to go ahead and go into how to cover your um, your channel comments and messages and things like that so till then this is Dustin with brand personalization radio take care